was a young, young theater artist, and I, I wrote a letter to him. I turned down uh, to get into the playwright directing it at the actor's studio. And I wrote a letter to him. I described some of the projects that I uh, uh, engaged with. Uh, that wasn't such a beginning, really. I mean, Dance from the City was written by uh, Joseph Mahar, who's an actor, and he was given a half a page spread by Walter Curry in the New York Times. So I had done some things, but I did not have the experience that most of the directors, you know, tour directors and the playwright directing me in the Gap Studio had. And I was turned down. Well, I wrote to him directly, and God bless him, he gave this young guy a shot. You know, one of the one of the few times in my life, uh, you know, where a door opened, uh, which is highly unlikely uh, in this day and age. Uh, uh, I'm going to divert for a second into this famous story. Um, I, I worked with him for three years on his innovation with his backing because he liked what I did in his play. And this is at the end of his life. So by that time, he knew a lot, a lot of directors. And uh, after he attended a stage meeting, and he was impressed, I said, you know, I really would like to move this to a bigger venue. I really would like to get into production. He said, good, go ahead. Good luck, you know. And that was a great honor. But I spoke to him on the phone after that. He said, how come I don't know you? And that was called for what's your resume. And, and in that in that conversation, I said, you know, I said this that. I said, you know, I, uh, uh, for various reasons, I ended up being one of those young Western kids with a knapsack, no money, or with an open part of my curiosity in uh, traveling around the world for two years. And uh, this is in the 70s. And um, he said, oh, that's interesting. Well, that's interesting. And I said, you know, I was in Afghanistan, India, Asia. He said, uh, you know, uh, I find that there's this hot house effect that's taken over New York theater. He said, that those inside this hot house are nurturing our law. And when you get into the hot house by charm, credentials, connections, whatever, those are the ones who get the more along. But he said, no matter how many reservoirs of coffee you make for your superiors, and how good a Xerox you would get, uh, uh, what, and if your worst trauma in life is that you don't get to worry your favor of the brunch maker, what kind of death can that bring to your heart? And he says, I'm being faced with directors who just know nothing about life. And he says, those independent spirits outside the hot house, those cats are not being invited in at all. Well, this is our Miller series. This is a guy who's had his pick for directors for the last 50 years. So anyway, that's, uh, that's why I call that the uh, hot house effect story that Mark the Miller uh, So um, now, let's talk about a little bit about developing a uh, director. Um, which is a main subject. Uh, someone wants to ask uh, Rosanna a fact. Uh, uh, what do you have? You have to have curiosity, you see. And you have to say, curiosity about what? About everything. About airplanes. About the ocean. Uh, you know, you know, I don't know. So, to have an open, an openness, a vulnerability to experience, to be curious. You're sitting in the bus. What's it like to be the bus driver five days a week on the same? Does he go to the same route? <laughs> you know, what's it like? What's the human experience? What's the human condition like out there as opposed to yours? Uh, I always tell people, you don't have to travel around the world, which, by the way, I'm not suggesting tourism. Uh, dare I say, it's something a little pretentious. When I travel, there's a whole underground culture uh, of, of uh, anti tourist travelers being called this And it is not tourism. Off to two weeks on vacation. This is very different. This is winning with the people in about a half a dozen different places that I did around the world. And uh, uh, my dictum to myself was that if I had to pay for lodging, I was cheating myself out of the experience. I was, I was selling myself short because the preferred method of surviving was to throw myself on the mercy of some guy selling in the middle of a rat course or whatever. I don't mean you know, literally, but I mean to make a connection with someone. And people in other countries where they have not commercialized lodgings to the degree that we have here understand that everybody has to have money to stay in a hotel night after night after night, and they bring you home. So I can tell you that many, many uh, nights were spent uh, in my sleeping bag on the floor of summer or in a schoolhouse, whatever. You know, and, 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 you know, people were very, very generous. 
and uh, I find that to be a, a rather unusual view, but uh, that's, you know, that's, that's another way of getting yourself outside your comfort zone. Now, you don't have to travel around the world to get outside your comfort zone, but, and I'm not suggesting you have to, you know, walk on the edge of the Brooklyn Bridge, but there is something to the fact that we all live in very, you know, it's not a very, uh, uh, you know, easy comfort zone. Now, whatever that means for you, the stretch of the movement, I think, is, is, is illuminating. Uh, and again, I'm not suggesting uh, how you your life necessarily. Uh, there's many ways to do it. It is to walk into a, a, a neighborhood you've never been before, uh, you know, or uh, uh, many, many ways to do that. Uh, um, yes, yes. What you described is a young person. Number two, a young male is Because for a young woman to try to do that in a foreign land, well, well, I mean, people usually partner, they usually team up with someone. Oh, and, uh, I like to travel. Oh, so, <laughs> I'm not going to sleep because of I know, I know. I know. And, I, and I mean, forgive me, uh, it's certainly true that, that I have addressed in some of your stories. Um, but but uh, no, I know, I've had a lot of uh, women traveling, or usually uh, women team up with someone, male or female, as a traveling partner. Um, you know, yes. I know, again, I don't live in New York, and many different people are meeting from different countries. So I have time to be on my phone for a thing, because going to, like, even Jamaica, so going to Jamaica, you're in a hotel in a week, so I came back here in New York. So we have a friend from Jamaica, or Japan, we go back to the family, so, you know, and we stay there for a week, so we get to actually live the life of tomatoes. And that's the best part of that. So I agree with that. Yeah. But that's what you do that to you. But the step on the same. Go as a stranger. That hit. Well, I don't you know. know. Okay. Yeah.